Time once again for the Real People Multi Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. It's been a, about a week since I played this. Um, the weather changed and I wasn't feeling as singy, and time, you know, time and energy and all of that has been uh, more sparse. Um, so I thought I'd recount what's happening before I start singing, uh, partially to remind myself and partially because I don't know how well you're tracking the singing, uh, how well it's um, letting you know the specifics of what's going on. Um, I think it's giving you maybe some understanding of the feeling of the game, but maybe less understanding of what's happening in the game in, in the, the um, strict reporter sense. So let's do a little reporting right now, just by looking at uh, kind of our different people and their prospects. We're seeing people clumping up, <laughs> I'm noticing, and uh, you know, that whenever that happens, you have to wonder if that's what the system guides one to do, or if that's just my own, um, my own, the, the evolution of my own play in this game. Because whenever you do a solitaire game, especially for the first time, a lot of it is just uh, kind of figuring out, oh, maybe it makes sense to do this. Kind of like uh, first, you know, playing a game for the first time. And so you start to, start to develop certain modes of play. But we're seeing a lot of clumping. Um, let's look at people's prospects right now. First, we can look at this track. Bix Beetleman's ahead on this track. Um, I would say, looking at the board, that's the only place he's ahead on. He has um, his warrior Bernhard is right here, stranded. Bernhard has no ships. Um, Bix is with two diplomats. Uh, diplomats are useful for turning over these white circles, but they he's kind of walled in. He's he's surrounded by like uh, pretty strong terrain. So to get anyone out of there is going to take some movement points. He really needs to get a diplomat out of there because he needs to get a merchant in order to get ships. Everyone else has a merchant right now. No, that's not true. Um, our two kind of champions, I want to say, semi-champions, uh, Lefty the Blue Baby and Roadrunner, both have merchants. So they're able to bring in more, bring in ships every turn, which lets them... Um, which lets them move and do things, and ships are pretty nice. So they're both doing pretty good because of that. Roadrunner, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna hazard, and I really don't know, I haven't looked at their cards or anything like that. I think she's probably doing a bit better than Lefty, and that's because she's she's got that um, learning card, so she's able to take more of these advanced tactics, and she's also a level ahead of Lefty, the blue baby. Um, now Lefty should have more ships about him, maybe. Maybe he's got a turn more of ships. No, it looks like they're about tied on that. Um, Lefty still has his stolen mana that he could maybe use. Uh, he's got a couple of warriors. I don't know, it's really hard to say but between those two. Um, Roadrunner is in a worse position, right? She's between two of the enemies, whereas Lefty is a bit further away from Smiley than he is from Bix, and Bix again is kind of stranded. So maybe he has a better board position, but she has a better card position. Let's just say that. I don't know if it's true or not. And then we have Smiley over there. Smiley's not doing so bad despite not having a merchant. She has a couple of warriors, which is good for her. Um, did I say it? Yeah, oh yeah, Lefty's got more people than everyone else. So that's nice for him. He has a merchant and two warriors. And she's, yeah, she's doing fine. That's where things are. We're not too far into the game, but it seems like stuff is happening. I don't know. This might be another long series. We'll see. It could be could be really short. Um, one thing I'm not sure about. So this game is supposed to be kind of semi-cooperative in that they there's a there's a time limit built into it. Um, that time limit is through these power cards. Uh, you know, reshuffling that deck. That's not going to happen too much. So I could do a day night limit. Maybe they have three days and three nights to beat the Shadow Lord. Should we say that? Uh, working into Mage Knight, I think a lot of the games, the scenarios are limited to three. It's, it's really hard to say with something like that because you really need to play test to see what is, um, what's feasible, but there's no way I'm going to keep playing this game again and again. Not that I don't like it, it's just that I have other things to do. And um, this is fun, but it's, it's mostly just fun, right? Fun. Well, 
will hold a knife to you and I will make you get me magic with my knife to you. I will take away your chill. Feel the heat of my blade as I take away your magic. The Duke Halifax attacks! Duke, Duke, Duke Halifax, Duke, Duke, you icy thing, come man, come attack, Axel. You, you get off of my Axel. Oh, you, you naughty, naughty thing, Duke Halifax, Duke, come on on my Axel. I won't worry so much. I'll just take a wound, or he'll take a wound, and I'll be over here. <laughs> it's been a heck of a year. I finally found the time to fix my axle. I had some time to learn to meditate, yeah. I got, did something with this magical thing, and I got some stuff to add to my belly. What a magical year. It's been so great. We found this thing right there. What a magical year. You went over here and had some fun time exploring. Nothing really hurt us. A magical year. We grew up big and stronger. A magical year. We get to drive even more cards a magical year we made a level in this magical year it's been a bumper crop year such a wonderful year and by year I mean a portion of a day it's time for Randy of course Randy she's great Randy of course yes it's time for Randy. You're on my team, Randy. I did some flying, Randy. I flew from here to there for Randy. Send in the guards, Utum guardsmen, to join me. Wherever I go, send in the guards, Utum guardsmen, to join me. Wherever I go, wherever I go. My guards, send with me my guards. Just so you know where we're at, we'll take a quick break to let you know where we're at, and that is that players are running out of their deed deck. That's that little deck of cards that they draw from that can grow and shrink based on what they do. Uh, when that deed deck is run out, then someone can declare end of turn. Roadrunner currently is in the position to declare end of turn because her deed deck is run all the way out. So we're gonna do another turn right now um, and we'll see if Roadrunner declares end of turn, but after her turn, it's probably going to be end of turn, the turn after that. So we're running towards the end of day. I don't know what that means in space, and that's something that my mind just can't quite grapple with at this point. Um, there's enough that I'm juggling that I can't think about how to um, make that end of day thing work. I guess it's it's relative day, since these are all organic beings, but there, the problem is, is that there's a... well, I guess maybe we can assume they're all from the same planet, so they kind of are used to the same sort of day uh, clock. They've evolved to this certain biorhythm pattern that they all share, even if they're out amongst the stars, with, which are really many suns, and so it's kind of always day and always night, depending on, uh, I guess, how close you fly towards the sun or a star that, that you could call a sun. I hold you only so much for what you do for me. Stand, stand, you are the 
a powerful man I wish I could be But I will decompose the wind And I will crystallize my power And I will someday leave Stan And be the one Is anybody out there I see good shine Like the sun Like a lion without a beard I am the one Yes, you are the one We'll be together Guy and Sigurd Through the stars Together Oh, somebody's out there And then it was count with the tax He's attacking Bix Beetleman, oh no, count with the tax, count with a tax. Oh no, Bix, can you stop him? Count with summons Medusa. Let's send in the guards. Ooh, I'm so angry. So Medusa will fail, and I can attack for four if I use my dice for the turn, and I will beat, oh no, no, I forgot about all those spaceships. Hey, so you do black for four. You can get him blocked, but then what, can you... Can you attack him? You can attack him for four, but he's got a, a defense of seven, and it's gonna be half. Attack four is not gonna do it. Oh, oh. Well, still send in the guards. That's it. I give. End of turn. Take one more turn. And then end of chain. Send in the crossbowmen. And I will tell them a tale of ancient heroes in outer space. It'll be so exciting to them to hear about all of these heroes in outer space. Swimming around in their power rings. Send in the crossbowmen. They're cold. They're the Ice Brothers. They'll hit you from a distance. Brr, Ice Brothers. Stan, he's the master of siege attacks. Holger, he can do lots of different ice things. But together, they're the Ice Brothers. Brr, oh, they'll hit you from a distance. Ooh, you're cold, Ice Brothers. They're cold. Is there anybody out there? I'm a pig looking for his chop shop. Could you take me home? I could use a bucket of pig slop. Is anybody out there? You can call me Spacer Swine. 
I'm a good merchant. I'll bring spaceships to your team. Roast me over the fire. All right, so that's going to be the end of the day. We're ending with Smiley's turn there. She got Svine to join her. She has a lot of people on her team. She definitely has the most. She's used up all her power rings. She has no more remaining. Uh, a lot of them, unfortunately, are just diplomats, though. So she might need to let someone go in order to try and get some other forces on her team. I'm thinking about doing something where you need to have a line of command to your planet in order to get um, spaceships, to continue getting spaceships. I think that might be kind of interesting. Or maybe that's just going to add more complications. I don't know. This game's already kind of a mess <laughs> how it is <laughs> but it's a fun mess um i definitely don't think it's a fair game but that's okay that never bothers me when we're playing with real people um so we'll have to see we're gonna enter into night phase and i don't know what kind of diurnal cycle exists in space but um there is one we're gonna enter into night phase uh, next time on the Real People Multi Game Solitaire Mega Tournament, Star Masters, Protestant Leg Number Three.